nimeridhika na kazi iliyofanyika imefanyika kazi kubwa katika muda mfupi sana imefanyika kazi nzuri tumeanzia baharini ambako kebo ime imeingia ime, ime uh, nchini kwetu lakini nimekuja njia yote kuangalia na, na kuona jinsi mashine zilivyopangwa kwa ni, ni furaha yangu kwa niaba ya serikali kusema tumeridhishwa na kazi ilipofikia na tunaridhishwa na kasi inayoendelea katika kumalizia uh, ujenzi wa wa, 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 hii, wa hii facility ni matumaini kwamba facility itakapoisha italeta mageuzi makubwa sana kwenye sekta ya mawasiliano nchini italeta mageuzi makubwa sana kwenye sekta zingine kwa sababu uh, mawasiliano yanawezesha shughuli zingine za kiuchumi za kijamii kuendelea ni matumaini yetu kwamba mwezi wa tano kama nilivyoaidiwa tutakuja kuzindua rasmi baada ya ukaguzi huu na kuridhika na kazi ilivyofanyika e, umaliziaji sasa ufanyike kwa wote wanaohusika halafu pengine mwezi wa tano e, watano mwishoni wa sita tuje tu, tuzindue ras, rasmi huduma hii kwa hiyo nichukue nafasi hii kuwapongeza na kuwashukuru Airtel kwanza kwa kufanikisha kuleta hii kebo ku kutua nchini kwetu kwa sababu ingeweza kupita juu kwa juu ikaenda nchi zingine lakini hata leo wamefanya jitihada kuna jitihada zimefanyika kubwa za kuhakikisha hii kebo inaingia nchini kwetu na wao wame wamefanikisha hilo lakini pia na kufanikisha upatikanaji wa maeneo lakini na na, na ujenzi wa hii facility na nimefurahi kuwaona Rad Fiber eh, wakati fulani rais aliagiza kwamba wawekezaji wa ndani ambao nao wanachangia wana, wana uzalishaji wa ma, ma, material kwa ajili ya mawasiliano wapewe fursa. Kwa hiyo uwepo wao hapa ni ushahidi kwamba wazawa wanashiriki katika kuhakikisha huduma za mawasiliano e, zinafanikiwa. Ni kwamba tu Afrika mkongo huu ulianza kujengwa toka mwaka jana na sasa hivi kwa kwenye hatua za mwisho za kukamilika. Nikisema mkongo wa baharini na maanisha nini? Na maanisha ni kwamba uh, utaratibu wa kupeleka mawasiliano kwa kupitia baharini katika sehemu mbalimbali. Mkongo huu ni mkubwa, una karibu kilomita 45 na mkongo huu utatufungua Tanzania kwenye dunia kwa sababu mkongo huu utakuwa una connect au una wasiliana na maya, na continent tatu ambayo ni Africa, Europe na Asia. Na sisi kama Airtel Tanzania leo tunasema kwamba tuko pamoja na mama na tunasimama naye na serikali yake na kuhakikisha kwamba Tanzania inafunguka kweli kweli katika nyanja mbalimbali. Tumeona kwenye uh, utalii, kilimo, lakini hata mawasiliano Tanzania inafunguka. Africa is growing at a very fast pace on data. About close to 45% is the growth of data traffic world over. World over, world grows at about 28% of data traffic. Africa is growing at 40, 40, 45, 46%. So the con still Africa is, is about less than 5% of the world data traffic, but it's growing at a fast pace. And we require about uh, 22 TBS t uh, terabytes per second now out of uh, 450 for the world. But it's moving faster. So many of these uh, uh, OTT players are also seeing Africa as a great opportunity. Uh, and they have to ensure that the growth is met. So all coastal cities are getting connected. Data centers are being built. Terrestrial land cable networks are being placed. All content wants to be sitting locally over here so that the user experience can improve. So a lot of such uh, improvements are happening and people are looking at Africa. And I'm very happy to say that uh, the two Africa cable is one cable which connects the entire, goes to the entire fauna of Africa. And it connects about 28 countries in Africa, 33 countries world over. It's also got a uh, leg towards Asia and to the Europe. So it's a very well integrated cable. We have, as Airtel, we've got about 20 landing points. 16 are in uh, Africa, so we can go and directly land, connect from here. We don't need to go to UK. We can go from here directly to these countries. So a lot of benefits are going to be coming into 
Tanzania for the digitization drive, the way the traffic is growing in Tanzania on data, I think a lot more uh, capacities are required and this is going to give uh, a huge amount of capacity, more than what all cables are presently giving is going to give probably two times of what they are giving. So that's the capacity that this is going to come, uh, bring in. It's also going to open up uh, the entire digital connectivity from Tanzania. That's going to be a great opportunity. So we are very uh, happy and uh, you know we are kicked about this project. We really want this project to do well and we want Tanzania to be on top uh, through this project. And uh, I want to thank you sir for coming over and inspecting the facility. I'm sure that uh, in a month from now, you will find everything completely speak and span. And uh, I'd like to welcome you to say a few words, sir. Thank you.